On this channel, I have covered many different types of fine tuning as well as training methods. We've seen this with Monster API, Auto Train, as well as GPT LLM Trainer. However, today I have a new method that is easier to fine tune as well as train different types of large language models, introducing Llama Factory. Now, I know the name states Llama, but it's something that is a method, not just a specific type of method to train the Llama model. You're able to basically train and fine tune most major open source models like Llama, Falcon, Mistral, Quen, Chat, GLM, and so many others, which is something that they continuously keep on adding. Now, the great part with this method is that it's efficient and cost effective, and there is a web UI for you to get started with. Just take a look at this example where you're able to alter self-cognition of an instruction tune language model within 10 minutes, and this is done on a single GPU. Now you can see, you can set whatever language you want, the fine tuning method, in this case, the person has it set to Laura. You can set different checkpoints, have the model name set to something, whatever you can upload it towards, as well as having a model path. Now, in this case, he is setting it to Chinese, I believe, and we can go down a little bit and see that he goes on further to complete this fine tuning method within 10 minutes. Now, we can upload various different files and at the end, you're able to evaluate, train, and chat with it as well. Now, you are also able to export the model after fine-tuned, as well as trained upon whatever data or whatever checkpoints you set it to. And this is something that you can do within this new trainer. This is something that we're going to take a look at throughout what you can do with Llama Factory, as well as taking a look at some of the cool things about this application, as well as what this project is trying to accomplish. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you are not a part of our private Discord, you are definitely missing out. We give out paid subscriptions for AI tools for free, guys. You're able to get amazing knowledge, different types of courses, research papers, as well as different networking and consulting opportunities. If you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below as it will definitely elevate your AI game. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Hey guys, I started this new thing where if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. I can be giving you my consulting in various different aspects, whether that's AI related, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Llama Factory, which is an easy way for you to train as well as fine tune various different large language models with minimal effort. Now, we've seen many different types of training methods as well as fine tuning methods on this channel. But what stood out to me the most is it's cost effective as well as it's efficient approach to fine tuning these supported models. We can see here there's many different supported models. You get the best of the best models. Uh, in this case, the best ones are Llama, Falcon, Mistral, you have Quen, as well as many other options. And this is something that they're continuously implementing as they keep developing this approach for fine tuning and training models. You got all the model sizes as well as the default packs that you can definitely access with this application. Now, they have also supported many different training approaches. You have various different approaches, such as the pre-training, supervised fine-tuning, reward modeling, you have the PPO training, DPO training, and you're able to do this with the full parameter with the, uh, the pre-training as well as the super, uh, supervised fine-tuning as well as the DPO training, and you can do that with the partial uh, parameter, and you're able to implement LoRa and QLoRa with all of these approaches. Now with Llama Factor, it supports many different training approaches. You can see there's a list of five different training approaches. Pre-training, which is full parameter, has access to full parameter, uh, partial parameter, LoRa and Qt LoRa. It's the exact same thing with the supervised fine tuning. Now this is to basically make sure that there are correct outputs when they are known. 
uh, you have the reward modeling, which uses the reward model to guide the training process. Now, this model is trained to maximize the reward signal, and it's something that could be very helpful for a lot of people. And you're able to use LoRa and QLoRa for this method. You have the PPO training, which is the proximal policy optimization, which is a reinforcement learning, and it's approach that optimizes policies. And it's basically used to adjust them to improve the performance while ensuring stability. You have the DPO training, which is a domain policy optimization. And this is another approach that focuses on optimizing policies within a specific domain. Now, most cases, you're just going to be using the pre-training approach or the supervised fine-tuning method. Now, in this case, you're able to knock on all of these different types of training methods, whether that's full parameter, partial parameter, LoRa, or QLoRa. So just keep this in mind so you can get a better idea as you go into the fine-tuning process or the training process of different models. Now, the great thing about this project is that they have provided a lot of data sets that you can encode into your Llama models whenever you're training them. Or not just your Llama models, sorry, just any open source model that you're working with. You can work with various different libraries, various different data sets. In the case of pre-training data sets, they have a few lists that are out there. Uh, in, in various different ranges too, where you can focus on logical data sets, coding data sets, and various other types. You have supervised fine-tuning data sets, which you get more flexibility with. And lastly, you have preference data set. Now, you're able to refer to these on their actual GitHub repo, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Now, just to keep in mind, you're not just restricted to using the data sets that they have provided. You can obviously use custom data sets, and they have provided a description as to how you can do this. They have given you step-by-step -step instructions as to what you can do, uh, uh, as well as showcasing the approach to inputting your own custom instructions or your own data. Now, before we move forward, there are a couple of requirements that need to be fulfilled beforehand. Firstly, you need to make sure that you have Python 3.8 or above installed. The same goes with PyTorch and the model they have stated over here. In case that you're using the different libraries with Python, you need to make sure that you have the Transformers, Dataset, Accelerate, Peft, as well as TRL installed beforehand. These are basically just additional Python libraries that the Lima factor method relies on for various different functionalities. So you need to make sure that you have it installed. You need to have Centerpiece, pro, uh, Protobuf, as well as Tick Token. These are libraries that are essential. Obviously, all of this stuff is going to be installed later on when you go towards the installation process. So in this case, when you are cloning and installing all these requirements, they'll make sure that they install all these requirements if you do not have it beforehand. But in the case that you have uh, something that you would want to have your data incorporated with this approach, you need to make sure that you prepare the data and they give you a good demonstration as to how you can set this up. So definitely read through this. Uh, I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can get a better idea for checking the details that are required to set your own data. But once this is done, we're going to move on to the installation and start to set this up on a web UI. Now, there's a couple things that you'll need to keep in mind. This is for training on a single GPU, as well as if you're working towards training on multiple GPUs, you need to refer to the distributed training method. This is something that is for people who are training multiple different large language models on multiple different GPUs that require multiple GPUs actually. Now, in the case that you're gonna be installing on a single GPU, you need to make sure that if you want to enable the quantized LoRa or QLoRa on the Windows platform, you'll need to be required to install a pre-bit pre-built a version of bits and bytes library and this is something that supports CUDA 11.1 to 12.1 and this is the installation to basically install this so definitely keep that in mind if you're going to be using these two quantized uh, platforms and training approaches now what you want to do guys is go into the github repo and you want to copy this command over here now, another thing I forgot to mention is that you need to make sure that you have Git, which is an application that will help you clone this repository. You also need to have Conda installed. So definitely do these things beforehand. And once you have that figured out, we can move forward with the installation. So what you want to do is open up command prompt. Once you have that opened up, paste this command that we just copied and click entered. 
Now this is going to start cloning the repository onto your desktop. So once this is complete, we can then go into the actual file and we can create a conda environment. So we can just go ahead and copy this command beforehand. And once this is done, we'll copy and paste it, go into the llama factory file and then install the requirements. So after cloning, I created the actual environment with Conda and then I activated it with the following two commands. Firstly, you got to input this, then it will ask you to proceed forward and you just click yes. Once you have inputted yes, you can then activate the Llama Factory Conda environment. Now, once you're over here, we can scroll down and we can go into the actual Llama Factory folder. And this is by typing in CD Llama Factory. Once you're in here, we need to install the requirements. So we can then move forward, install the requirements. This will start installing what is needed to have Llama Factory function. So once this is complete, I'll be right back. Now, what you want to do is input this command try web underscore web dot pi. And this is to fine tune the models in your web browser. So you just need to simply copy this, paste this into your command prompt, and you'll be able to load it up on your local host over here. Once you have it loaded up, it will look something like this and it's something that you can get started with right away. In conclusion guys, this is an easy way for you to efficiently and cost effectively fine tune and train whatever open source model that you would like. So I hope you found this video to be quite helpful. I'll leave all these links in the description below. It's fairly easy to move forward with the installation as well as the training process. You just simply need to go and select the models which we saw, evaluate it with whatever data that you upload and you're able to fine tune it with the nice simple web UI that they have provided. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video and check out our previous videos as there are, there, as there are a lot of content, sorry, on this channel that will definitely benefit you in any single aspect. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.